if too much money is going to nannies, then that might undermine the amount of money going into the established childcare uh, uh, centre centres, and that would have a damaging impact on that sector. Is that something that needs to be considered? Well, of course, it's something that needs to be considered. And I think that uh, what the Productivity Commission put forward is almost a budget neutral uh, position. That was the framework that they were working within. And obviously, the budget is in a very difficult uh, state at the moment. Uh, but there is always opportunity to, to, to spend more money in this area because ultimately it's something that increases um, uh, the number of taxpayers. Because if, if a mum goes back to work instead of staying at home, uh, ultimately she'll end up paying tax and you increase, increase that tax revenue across the long term. So um, I understand where the Labor Party is coming from on that, but I would, I would just say that as a starting point for the conversation that we are looking at almost a budget neutral position from what the Productivity Commission is put forward, I think, from my first look at it, it's only a few hundred extra million dollars. So um, there's opportunity to look at, well, as I said, just because you fund nannies that don't mean, doesn't mean that you are, can't fund childcare centres. Is this a kind of a, a test, do you think, for our major political parties? The, the politics in the last several years has been very combative and it's been very difficult to agree on policy measures and particularly budget measures. Uh, do you think this is that the public is right to be looking at the major parties on this issue and saying, come on, guys, surely you can reach some sort of agreement on this policy? Absolutely. I, I think that is uh, a very big test for, for both sides of politics at the moment. Uh, um, I have always been very frustrated about the inability of the Labor Party to uh, put options on the table in the Senate. They've opposed savings that they took to the last election. But putting all of that aside, uh, when we have achieved reform in this country, uh, often, uh, certainly wasn't the case in the Howard years, but in the Cork and Keating years, that reform was achieved uh, with bipartisan support in many cases. And uh, I would appeal to the Labor Party, um, become part of the process, put some policy options on the table to contribute to that discussion. Uh, and uh, if we can, then ultimately our country will be better served by politicians that can formulate policies that uh, deliver the outcomes that we need on, on both sides of the political divide. We're uh, happy to work with the government to, to look at the, the, the area of childcare. I mean, certainly the previous minister talked down the quality reforms uh, quite significantly and uh, was constantly criticising those improvements that were made that were actually welcomed uh, by many, uh, many childcare centres and indeed many families. Uh, but look, in addition, we have to say that uh, uh, already the government has ripped about a billion dollars out of childcare. So obviously when we're talking about improving accessibility and affordability, we can look at the system, but taking a billion dollars out of the system uh, is of great concern. Also um, around, you know, obviously we've got to see the details uh, of the Productivity Commission report. In their draft report, they did have uh, some some targeted programs for very disadvantaged families taken away. Uh, of course, that is of concern, um, and a one-size-fits-all approach doesn't always help, especially those very disadvantaged families. So, look, uh, you know, we want to see affordable, accessible, high-quality childcare, and look, we'll we'll work with the government to do that if that's their genuine agenda. But they shouldn't start by first of all ripping the billion dollars out of childcare. Certainly, we, we want to see quality reform, uh, quality uh, maintained in our childcare centres, and um, of course, you know, ensuring that uh, it's targeted at low and middle income earners.